This week's lesson, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do figure drawing and we're going to work on proportions. The eight head count is a method in which the size or length of the head is used to measure the height and width of a figure. For this figure drawing, we're going to use the eight head technique. First thing you need to do is draw a vertical line in the center of your page. Then draw a horizontal line on the top and on the bottom. Find the center and draw another horizontal line. Now find the center between these lines and draw a horizontal line. We'll again divide these areas in half and draw horizontal lines. What you'll have is eight equal sections. Now in the first area, we'll draw out the head just sort of an egg shape or an oval shape at the top. Once you have the head drawn in, draw a line in the center, slightly curved, and that will mark where the eyes will go. Now, in the center between the eyes and the chin, draw another line. That'll be where the nose will go. In between the nose and the chin, draw another line, and that's where the mouth will be. Where that mouth line crosses over that oval, draw some vertical lines down to represent the neck. It'll go about a third of the way down. Now we'll draw a horizontal line that will represent the shoulders. The shoulders are about two head heights wide. Now we'll draw in the waist. The waist is about one head height wide. From these marks, draw a slightly angled line down to the center. Now from the center, slightly curve the line about a quarter of the way up. And also curve slightly at the top where the waist is. Now we'll go back up to the neck and we'll draw angled lines to roughly where the hips line up. And then from there, we'll draw slightly curved lines down. The neck and where the shoulders are is roughly one head height. Now I'll finish the torso by connecting those lines to the waist.
Now we'll sketch in the shoulders from the marks we made earlier until it crosses that one line. Now we'll sketch the top of the arm to the elbow, which is roughly to where the waistline is. I'll sketch in where the elbow is by slightly curving the line. Before I finish the arm, I'll plot out the position where the legs will go. The legs are half the body, so in this case, it's four heads high. In the middle, on that line, I'll draw a curved line where the kneecap will be. Then I'll continue that curve of the waist and go all the way down to the knee. I'll do the same on the other side to the center to draw the upper thigh. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Now I'll go back up and finish the arms. So just below the center line, I'll draw where the wrist will go. Then I'll connect the elbow to the wrist by slightly tapering the lines. Here I'm just slightly shading the shapes of the arm just to give it a bit of form. And then I'll go in and I'll plot where the hand is. The hand stops slightly above the middle of the thigh. Now I'll do the same on the other side. Now from the bottom, I'll draw in where the ankles are, just about a quarter of the way up. And then I'll sketch in where the kneecaps are. Then I'll connect these two areas, trying to draw in where the calf is, so it's a little bit larger at the top. Again, I'll just shade these shapes a little bit just to give them form, just to round them out. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Then I'll just sketch in the feet from the ankles to the bottom line. I went up to the face and I'm just mapping out where the eyes, nose, and mouth go. Alright, let's recap the proportions using the eight head high rule. The first section, of course, is one head high. From the chin to the waist is two heads high. From the waist to the center 
is also one head high. And from the center to the kneecaps is two heads high. And finally, from the kneecap to the bottom of the foot is two heads high. If you're using Sketchbook Pro, you can lower the opacity and draw over it. If not, you can trace on top of what you've already drawn. This gives you an opportunity to draw it out again and just fine-tune the proportions. Here I'm just going back in with, with blue and shading it even further and giving it more detail and dimension. Once you've established the proportions of the human figure, you can go back in and change the shape for different body types. The figure we've drawn is very masculine, so I'll go back in and I'll change the shape. To make the form a little more feminine, I'll add a little more curves and widen the hips and make the shoulders less boxy. This is just one way to do the human figure for costume design. Then you can go back in and draw clothes on the body. Once you've established the proportions, you can trace over it and draw different costumes. Depending on the style and the period of the production you're designing. As I said before, if you're using Sketchbook Pro or another computer software, you can easily just lower the opacity and draw over your drawing. If not, a more traditional method is to use tracing paper or vellum and just trace over your figure. This saves a significant amount of time if you have a lot of costume renderings to do for a production. Your drawing exercise this week is to draw two figures. One, draw the proportions of the human figure, either male or female. Two, draw the same figure clothed. Here are a couple examples. 